that makes the steam turbine the preferred prime mover in comparison with, say, the diesel engine? Well, there are quite a number of advantages, the main factor being that of physical size. For example, a 30 megawatt steam turbine is probably smaller than a 5 megawatt diesel. Another advantage is that the steam turbine is far less complicated and contains very few moving parts. The moving parts are the rotor, which drives the generator, and the steam control valves and control gear. The amount of vibration produced by a steam turbine generator and transmitted to the surrounding area is relatively low, provided, of course, that the machine is in good condition and is correctly installed and aligned. This makes for a quieter operating plant, particularly when compared with the diesel engine or even the gas turbine. The steam turbine runs at high speed, usually 3,600 RPM in North America or 3,000 RPM in Europe, and can therefore be coupled directly to a two-pole generator. Remembering that the diesel engine operates at around 200 RPM, we can see one of the reasons why the specific output of the steam turbine is much greater. One other advantageous factor is the relative ease of controlling the output of the steam turbine. This is achieved simply by adjusting the amount of steam admitted to and flowing through the turbine. As we'll see later, admission valves, also known as control valves, are installed for this purpose. The turbine stop valve, or valves, is located upstream of the control valves. In case of an emergency, the stop valve closes automatically, cutting off all steam supply to the turbine and bringing the machine to a halt. This sketch shows us 